Master Creator Projects presents DIY grappling hooks for your action figures made from large treble fish hooks. We're turning the three prong fish hooks into grappling hooks. I've always loved grappling hooks. I thought you might like it. So check it out. Let's begin. Supplies you'll need for this project three prong fish hooks and some string or rope. What you'll need for this project a vise. A Dremel or a high-speed rotary tool, a couple grinding wheels, you're going to need those too. Before we start, please remember to use your safety equipment and handle these fish hooks with care. They're very sharp. You do not want to get poked by them. So what you're going to want to do is to ouch, grind these points down. It'd be very dangerous to use it like this. Put it in the vise and get started. I think the rest we could do inside. Let's head back in and finish it up. Now that we're back inside, if you need to take off a few more little burrs on these fish hooks, you could always use a file. What you'll want to do is cut a length of string or rope. I prefer to use paracord, but that's okay. Tie one end to the fish hook. You could just use a square knot. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Cut off the excess. You could always seal the end with a lighter if you want. There we go. Let's do the other one. Hopefully everybody knows how to do a square knot. Could also put a knot on this end. Can't remember what this kind of knot is called, but you just loop the loose end over a few times. Like this. And pull it tight. Makes a good size knot. Just cut off the excess. To line this up, just put your three fingers together and wind the rope or string paracord around a few times. This type of string gets tangled up pretty easily. That's what I like about paracord is it doesn't get tangled up. There you go. Your grappling hook is ready to go. I hope you found this useful. I have always liked using grappling hooks with my action figures. Oh 
Hi, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, ask questions. And remember, collect, inspire, and create.